Today we are going to learn octal subtraction using H complement method and before proceeding to this video I want to tell you that this method we are going to learn step by step and we are going to take around three examples and that too from simple to the complex examples so that you get all the idea that how the questions can be asked from this topic. So if you are preparing for any exams let's say your university exam or get exam or any other competitive exam you get full idea that how the questions can be asked from this topic. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. First of all, we want to understand how to do octal subtraction using H complement method. So for that, there are some steps that you need to follow. So let's say you are doing octal subtraction between two numbers that is A minus B. Okay. So in the first step, we need to do H complement of the negative number. Okay. So we need to take H complement of negative number okay of negative number so here if you check out the b is having negative sign so b becomes our negative number so b uh, for b we need to find h complement then after finding h complement our second step is to add a and h complement of the negative number okay that means b okay so in the second step we need to add a and h complement of the negative number after adding that we will get some result okay we will get some result of the addition and now based on the addition we will have some criteria some possibilities to be considered in the first possibility that if we get carry okay if we get carry then your answer will be positive answer okay then your answer will be positive answer and in this case you need to ignore the carry what you need to do you need to ignore the carry okay and second case that if there is no carry in the result okay in in the result that means in the addition result if there is no carry that means your answer will be negative answer okay your answer will be negative answer and then you need to find h complement h complement of the result okay of the result and that will be your final answer so these are the steps that you need to follow to get octal subtraction using h complement okay but before proceeding to the examples we should know that how to take h complement so now we are going to understand how to take h complement okay now h complement is again very simple you need to take let's say if there is a number b okay and for this number you want to find h complement then as a first step you need to find seven's complement okay you need to find seven's complement how to find seven's complement that we have covered in the last video right and that video you can find over here in the i card you can go there and you can definitely check out that video and you can come back now after finding the seventh complement you need to add one into the answer okay you need to add one into the answer and that will be your eighth complement okay now i'll explain you this with the help of one example let's say my number b is equal to one six five seven okay one six five seven for this i need to find seventh complement so to find the seventh complement i need to subtract this number from the digit seven here we have four digit number so we are going to write seven 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 from which we are going to subtract one six five seven okay so seven minus seven will be zero seven minus five will be two seven minus six will be one and seven minus one will be six so this is my sevens complement okay this is my sevens complement now with this sevens complement i need to add one okay i need to add one so my answer will be six one two one and that is my eight complement this is my eight complement so i hope guys with this example you are clear that how to find eight complement now let's jump into the examples we are going to take three examples so that you get full idea that how the examples can be asked moving on to the first example uh, we are starting with the simple example the first example is we need to do octal subtraction of 516 and 413 using h complement method here if you see these examples we have taken for the seventh complement method also but why we are taking the same example so that you get idea that what is the difference between normal octal subtraction octal subtraction with the seventh complement and octal subtraction with the eighth complement method okay now here you can check out our negative number is 413 so in the first step we are going to find eighth complement of the number 413 
so for that first of all we need to find 7's complement so 7 7 7 minus 4 1 3 that is uh, that will give us the 7's complement 7 minus 3 will be 4 7 minus 1 will be 6 7 minus 4 will be 3 and with that if we add 1 we will get our 8's complement so 4 plus 1 will be 5 and this will be 6 and 3 so 365 is basically 8's complement of the 4 1 3 now in the second step we are going to add these two numbers that means 516 plus the 8's complement that is nothing but 365 6 plus 5 will be 11 and minus 8 will give us 3 so 3 will be answered and 1 will be carry 6 plus 1 plus 1 will be 8 so 0 will be your answer and 1 will be carry i hope you know that uh, 8 minus 8 will be 0 so 0 is the answer and 1 will be carry 5 plus 1 will be 6 and 6 plus 3 will be 9 so 9 minus 8 will be 1 okay so 1 is your answer and 1 is the carry okay so basically you need to understand that this 1 is carry if you are getting 1 as a carry that means your answer is positive answer okay and then you need to ignore the carry okay so this is your final answer okay so your answer is 1 0 3 okay now let's check another example in the second example we have two numbers again our negative number is 4 5 1 right i hope you can see that the answer will be negative answer but we need to check out that how it is getting in uh, h complement method so here uh, we need to find as a first step we will find the h complement of the 451 so for that we will subtract it from the triple seven so our seventh complement will be six two and three with that if we add one we will get h complement that means seven two and three okay now we are going to add these two number that means three one six and the h complement of four fifty one that is three twenty seven so six plus seven that will be thirteen so if you subtract from the eight it will be five so five will be here and 1 will be the carry 2 plus 1 plus 1 that will be 4 and 3 plus 3 that is 6 now here you check out we are not getting any carry there is no carry that means the answer is negative and as the answer is negative we need to find h complement of this answer so to find h complement we are going to subtract the answer from triple seven so our seventh complement will be 2 and here will be 3 and here will be 1 and with that we need to add 1 so 3 3 and 1 so 133 is our answer but that will come with the negative sign because here we do not have any carry which clearly means that the answer is negative answer i hope guys with this example also you understand that if the negative answer is coming how to tackle that kind of examples now moving on to the last and complex example here we are taking the rational numbers here our negative number is 156.2 so as a first step we are going to find h complement of that negative number so we are going to subtract it from the 777.777 because here we have the six digit number so we are going to consider that 156.2 also a six digit number so we are going to subtract uh, these two numbers so here 7 minus 0 will be 7 7 minus 0 will be 7 and 7 minus 2 will be 5 7 minus 6 will be 1 7 minus 5 will be 2 and 7 minus 1 will be 6 with that we will add 1 so 7 plus 1 is 8 so answer will be 0 and 1 will be carry 7 plus 1 will be 8 so 0 will be answer and 1 will be carry 5 plus 1 will be 6 and here it will remain as it is okay so now as the second step we are going to add these two number 517.426 with that we are going to add the h complement of the 156.200 so that is this so now let's do the addition 6 plus 0 will be 6 2 plus 0 will be 2 6 plus 4 will be 10 so as you know that if we subtract from the 8 the 2 is the answer and 1 will be carry 7 plus 1 plus 1 that is 9 so 9 minus 8 if you do so 1 will be the answer and 1 will be carry 4 is the answer over here so 4 will be coming and 5 plus 6 that will be 11 and 11 minus 8 we do we will get 3 okay and 1 will be the carry now 1 is the carry that means this is our final answer because the answer is positive 
and in the positive answer we are ignoring the query so this becomes our final answer i hope students with these three examples you get full idea that how to do octal subtraction using h complement method with that we come to the end of the video and at the end of the video i request you to please subscribe this channel if you are learning something new from this channel and uh, you can also follow me on the social media handles here also i am uploading a very cool and interesting post regarding engineering so you can check it out i am going to meet you on every monday thursday and saturdays on this channel and if you don't want to miss out any new videos you can definitely subscribe this channel fine so let's end this video thank you very much